Welcome to today's class where we're going to focus on our feet. So the first thing that I want you to do is come onto your knees, tuck your toes behind you, and then sit back onto your heels. Now this is quite a deep toe stretch, so if it feels too much, just untuck the toes. But what I want you to make sure is that your little toe is tucked as well, because sometimes they kind of go out to the side. So just make sure that they're tucked under, lengthen through your spine. And just take some nice long inhales and exhales here. The longer the exhale, the better, because that's going to help to stretch through the muscles of the feet. We're not going to stay here too long. Just a couple breaths. Got very playful cats this morning. And then untuck your toes and just give your toes a little bit of a tap just to bounce that out. <laughs> and then you're going to sit back onto your toes. Now your feet are untucked. Bring your hands behind you and you're going to see if you can lift your knees up as much as you can. So it's like we're stretching the feet the other way. So really go back as far as you can. Try still lengthen through the spine. Just go to where you feel a stretch and then stay there. And then slowly lean forward. Just come onto your bum, bring your feet out in front. Maybe just circle the feet. And come to a crossed legged position. So the next thing we're gonna do is take one leg out long. So I'm gonna take my left leg out long. Your right foot's gonna come in on top of your left thigh, if you can get it there. If you can't, it doesn't matter. Um, all we're gonna be doing is grabbing your feet with your fingers. You're gonna hold hands with your toes. So you're gonna place your fingers in between your toes. It's gonna to feel really strange. Try and get them as far down as you can in between your toes. And you're just gonna hold your hand, hold your toes. So it's like you're holding hands with your toes, okay? And then you're gonna squeeze. Your fingers are gonna squeeze, your toes are gonna squeeze, and you're gonna stay here for a moment. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release. Keep your fingers where they are, just release the tension. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release. And just keep going with this for a second. And then just release that, release your fingers. Oh, just give your toes a little wiggle. It's going to feel weird. Take your foot out long. Just notice the difference now between your left and your right. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So right leg goes out long. Bring your left toes in. Get your fingers in there. Wiggle them down as far as you can. And just hold it there for a moment before you squeeze. And you might find that one side feels worse than the other as well, a bit more um, discomfort. Hold here. That's probably the side you need to work on more if you are finding that. And then squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release. This is so good for your feet. Squeeze, release, and just keep going with that for a moment, squeezing and releasing. Maybe your fingers can get a little bit further down as you do this. Then release your fingers, wiggle your fingers out, give your feet a squeeze, and release that. Okay, so one final thing that we're going to do today is use the acupuncture ball. So if you don't have an acupuncture ball, you can just use a tennis ball or anything that's round. But we're gonna place it on the floor. I'm gonna go up now, but you'll still be able to see my feet. We're gonna place the ball on the ball of your foot. You can hold onto a wall here as well so that you're a bit more stable. Put as much weight as you can and just roll the ball underneath the ball of your foot. 
So maybe spread your toes, put as much weight as you can, and just roll it one way, and then move it to the center of your foot, like by the arch of your foot, and roll it there. Again, put as much weight as you can, and then move it to the heel of your foot. And again, just put as much weight as you can, roll it around. And then go back to the middle of your foot and to the ball of your foot. And then we're going to switch feet. So again, just place the ball underneath the ball of your foot. Take a few circles and you might find again that one foot feels different than the other and that is completely normal. Move it to the center of your foot. And if you find one part that particularly feels um, quite strong, quite, not exactly painful, but if you're getting a big sensation, maybe stick to that area and work on there. For me, it's always on my arches. And then to the heel of your foot. And move it back to the center. And back to the ball of your foot. So that one you can obviously do a lot longer than what we've done it today, but I just wanted to show you the exercises that you can do. So hopefully your feet are feeling amazing after that. Maybe now go and get some moisturizer, rub it into your feet. Thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe, like this video, let me know if there's any other videos like this that you would like me to do. And if you are working on gaining your flexibility, there's a free challenge down below to help you get closer to your toes in your forward fold. So go check that out and I will see you all next week. What's the right word I'm looking for?